And now a message from the president of the National Association of Hispanic Journalists. Hello, I'm coming to you from my home here in San Antonio. The National Association of Hispanic Journalists is strong and powerful. We just wrapped up our three-month membership drive. More than 800 members joined or renewed. That exceeded our goal of 200 members in 90 days. Thank you for renewing your membership. I want to thank our membership committee chair, Geraldine Coles Ascora, and Gary Cooper for editing those videos. I also want to thank NHJ member Elio Lectura from Chicago. He designed our membership drive graphics. But most of all, we couldn't have done it without the help of our members across the country who recorded videos as part of our nationwide membership campaign. Our next campaign will feature lifetime members. Thank you for your financial commitment to NAHJ. If you haven't received your lifetime membership pin, come see me, I have one for you. Also, if you're not a lifetime member, you can join too. The cost is $1,500. Don't worry if you can't pay it all at once. We do have an installment plan. Now, the executive director, Alberto Mendoza, and I have been on trains, planes, and automobiles crisscrossing the country on NHJ business. Just a few weeks ago, we met with the director of media affairs at the White House. I requested a meeting with Helen Aguirre, and she granted my request. We discussed opportunities for our members to have access to the White House. I've asked DC Chapter President Melissa Makaya to coordinate a White House briefing for NHJ. This is something the DC Chapter has done in the past, and we will continue the tradition in the new administration. While Alberto and I were in DC, NHJ released an LGBTQ Spanish language style book. NHJ teamed up with the National Lesbian and Gay Journalists Association, the Gay Lesbian Task Force. The DC chapter organized its fourth annual Washington DC Journalism Job Fair. More than 200 people attended and we confirmed our first hire from the fair. CBS News hired a news associate. Alberto and I met with executives from CNBC, ABC News, The New York Times, and CBS News. We are being proactive to reach out to different news organizations to help our members gain opportunities to find jobs. We wrapped up our spring board meeting in Miami. The National Board approved a measure to pay back $50,000 to the scholarship account. We are in good financial standing and we look forward to a successful conference in Anaheim. We are planning for a dynamic conference that includes hands-on um, workshops led by Robert Hernandez, our convention chair. So be sure to sign up for the Excellent in Journalism Convention. We are teaming up with the Radio and Television Digital News Association and the Society of Professional Journalists. We'll be in Anaheim September 7th through the 9th. And we're also bringing back the NHJ Hall of Fame and Grand Vila. So I hope you can join us. Again, go to nhj.org. I want to thank all of our national board members and our staff for their dedication and commitment to NHJ. And I also want to thank all of our chapter leaders across the country. Thank you for all your help. This has been a message from the president of the National Association of Hispanic Journalists.